Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction in Doctor Who December. Um, I hope that you guys are enjoying Doctor Who December uh, so far. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm very interested to see uh, what kind of stories we're gonna get with uh, this season. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any kind of season long plot arcs or if it's just going to be individual stories. I'm, I'm very curious to see uh, where we're going to go next and um, yeah, I'm really excited. Let's get started. Ooh, Alabama! Oh my god. Hey, you. You don't go that way. That way's not for colors. Beginning off, then back on that. Not when there's folks standing in the stairwell. If you ain't gone through that back door, you're getting off my bus. So, let me go. fucking chills like so many fucking chills oh my god Some music I'm about it Sheffield almost really close <laughs> so I'm not Sheffield then wow 1955 Elvis can we see Elvis I think he's <laughs> I could give him a call you haven't got Elvis's phone number don't ever tell anyone I'll lend him a mobile phone. Oh. Oh, I want an episode with Elvis. What's that? Traces of Artrum energy. Excuse me. Oh no. Excuse me. Drop this. Stop! Sir, please, take a step back. This is your boy. It's my grandson, actually. Your what? My grandson. He'll be swinging from a tree with a noose for a neckerchief. He touches a white woman in my course. No problem here, Mr. Steele. Step away now. Go here. Step away. Oh, my God. Are you crazy? He slapped me. Did you read the newspapers? You know what they did to young Emmett Till? With an out of town. On vacation from the north. Couple of ways to a white woman in Mississippi. And the next thing, they find his body in the river. You want that to be you? No. Did your mother raise you with no manners? I will take a no ma'am. No ma'am. Pox, Rosa Pox. No way. You're kidding. Brilliant. Rosa Pox. Big fan of Montgomery. I am, we are just visiting. Oh my God. Can you believe it? Actual Rosa Pox. Amazing. Also a problem. Registering traces of Artron energy all around her. Why is that? Class Who the fuck was that? First black woman to ever drive a bus. No. no. Oh my god. <laughs> How could you have been in a class named after the woman and not know who she is? She's American. She refused to give up a seat on a segregated bus to a white passenger. Today is Wednesday, November 30th, 1955. Tomorrow, Rosa refuses to give up her seat. Is it me? Or has it gone very quiet earlier? Yeah, um... We don't serve Negroes. Wow. Good. Because I don't eat them. Oh, uh, Mexicans. Is she talking to me? You yeah. Have to eat somewhere else. Come on. <sighs> My lord. If she can live here all her life, a couple of hours ain't gonna kill me. It ain't gonna kill me, right? Oh, <laughs> no, I, I love that. Keep 
keep it up while you use yours again. He has some really good attitudes about things. I just introduced national regions. He's only put two miles that way. We won't stop somewhere else to eat, though, won't we? No, Tom Graham! Have you noticed that happens a lot? Uh, yeah, no. I would have to have just got thrown out of the water, that's what yeah, a lot of just food. That. Can I help you? Is there a problem here? You gonna say anything or just fucking stare? No problem, man. Okay. That wasn't there a second ago. Mm -hmm. No kidding. It was there. <laughs> Can we open it? It's the right question. <sighs> <laughs> it won't be if it's a bomb. Don't kill the vibe, Graham. It's a fair point. Oh, not very fifties. This is very bad news. Secondary charger for a... Um... This guy. Is it a Thomas? Might be. What's it to you? Well, it could be worth a lot. Nah, not that one. Second hand. Huge mileage. One careless owner. Mind you. So what do you want with Rosa Parks? Who? Oh. Ugh, now you're being annoying. Feelings, <laughs> Rachel. If I see any of you again, I will kill you. Don't threaten me. Okay, that went well. Chop, chop. On your way now. What are you doing? Come on, gang. What is going on with the... Okay. Besides, the Sonic picked up something else on him, but I need to go back to make sure. Right. What do you remember about Rosa? Wait, don't step on the... Okay. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? That is Fenders. We left the pay for that. No, pack it in. You ain't Banksy. Or am I? Rosa takes the bus on the 1st of December. I remember because she said people thought she didn't stand because she was tired from working, but she wasn't. Oh, Lord. Oh, she if I had to I recall shit that, that I learned in, in high school. school. That's it, she did close repairs. She was a seamstress. I mean, is a seamstress. God, it used to be in the past. <laughs> Bathroom. Seriously. Very seriously. Thanks, he doesn't oh. have one of those. Or have I? Oh my god. You don't happen to know a couple of uh, mongrels? Hmm? Negro boy? Mexican girl? I don't recognize anyone by that description. Hmm. We're not harboring anyone who doesn't have a right to be here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can go now. Not want him. Yeah. Thank God my nan taught me how to keep my temper. Oh. Never give them the excuse. Yeah. It's not like Rosa Parks wipes out racism from the world forever. Otherwise, how come I get stopped way more by the police than my white mates? I get called a packy when I'm sorting out a domestic or a terrorist on the way home from the mosque. Yeah, exactly. And in 53 years, I'll have a black president as leader. Who knows where they'll be 50 years after that? What? Are you born this positive? Guess so. Must be my Mexican blood. <laughs> <laughs> she had a t shirt that said, um, the Spirit of Rosa. Oh. I wish that she was here. Oh my god! I thought she'd start a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Operation. Oh. I reckon this one's the most direct. So it's most likely she takes this one tomorrow night. This is me on the back of the bus. I'm oh, sorry, Ryan, honey. You shouldn't have to do this. I agree. I'm sorry, Ryan. The driver let me on at the front of the bus. What does that mean for where I sit? Does colour just mean black in 1955? Guess I'll pack my South Asian Mexican backside in the white section then and let's see what happens. This is a very, like, powerful episode. You get this bus this time every day? Most days. Always this time. And you live? Cleveland Court, next stop. If you keep sitting there, we're all going to have to move. If white folks need seats, by law, I have to give mine up. Oh, that's not right. 
Tell that to your company, say. Now, if I win your raffle, will that give me the right to sit anywhere I want on this bus? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> this is my stop. Meet you back at the motel later. Ryan, be careful. Yeah. I mean, don't, like, follow her, like, I mean, it's... Stalking Rosa Parks. Ah! Don't know about this. Mm. You better not be following me. I want to help. With what? And how do I know you're not a spy for the police or the FBI? Because if they were going to send a spy, there's someone who could actually follow you without being spotted. Also, don't think they know any of that, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy. I can't. <laughs> like, his music, too, is like something else. First things first. Tell me about Stormcage. Oh. Storm what? Oh, a rubbish liar. I did my time. I'm rehabilitated. What were you there for in the first place? Not if I tell you. I how are your view of me? And it was nasty enough that Stormcage placed a neural restrictor in your brain before releasing you back into the universe. How can you know that? Neural restrictor means you can't kill or injure any living thing. Ooh. It stops you from doing it, no matter how much you want to try. So even That's like the chips in Buffy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Kicking in. Trying to brain chemistry. <sighs> Neutered criminal. On release, and you come here. Why? Mm, that's my question. I had a hobby. I had a lot of time to think in Stormcage, and I realized that tiny actions change the world. Cresco. Don't like it. Listen, uh Cresco. <laughs> I'll give you one warning. And this is Dr. King from Dexter Avenue Baptist Church. What? Martin Luther King. That's correct. Your name? My grand, grandma. The elder ladies do love your sermons, Martin. She attended Dexter Avenue. Uh, no, she died recently. I'm sorry for your loss, son. Thank you. Now figuring you ain't got to deal with keeping coloreds apart from whites. No, 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 we don't do that. Just the way it is, no matter how much they complain. Ain't gonna change. Back at it tomorrow, I suppose? Nope. Going fishing at Mill Creek. It's December the 1st. What? Well, of course, it's a Thursday, isn't it? You know, like a work day. A rotor got changed. A fella from the depot just came by and gave me the good news. So is he gonna have to, like, convince him oh, yeah. to stay on the bus to refuse? Me and you guys, <laughs> listening to you all talk, I can't believe it. It's worth the fight. Thank you. For me and me then. I haven't done anything. Well. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good night, Mom. Tiny actions. That's what Crosco's doing. See, he's clever. I'll give him that. He knows. He's not planning on killing. Or destroying or breaking history. He's planning to nudge it. Now we know what our task is. Keep history in order. No changing it, just guarding it against someone who wants to disrupt it. Rosa Parks gets on the bus driven by James Blake. Yeah. And that the bus is full, so Rosa sits when she's asked to stand for white no, passengers. I like that Ryan, don't mess with that. How are we supposed to keep history in order if James Blake is going to go fishing at Mill Creek and another driver is lined up to do his route? Yeah. I've got an idea. Elias Griffin Jr. Yeah. Congratulations. You are the lucky winner of our raffle of the century. For row tickets to see Frank Sinatra and a VIP pass to meet Frank himself. My wife loves Sinatra. Amazing. Who would have guessed? Only one <laughs> You have to leave now. Good job Elvis lent Frank that mobile phone against everything I told him. We need to stick tight to Rosa. Well, we thought we'd come and join you. You sat last night how beautiful and peaceful it was, yeah. This is my grandson, Ryan. What the hell? You can't be here. Hey, how many of you caught? Can I pick them up? 
Ever seen a man juggle fish? Stay out of my face! You don't belong here! I reckon we'll be here all day. Yeah, might as well. Seeing as that boss sitting's kicking off. Mm -hmm. Gonna be a big trouble. What'd you say, Bob? That a group of black passengers were playing in the street. Okay. the bus rooms tonight. Yeah. Not on my bus, they're not. And I see! Oh my, you so huh? Yes, you manipulate that racist. Have the damn creek. Uh huh. <laughs> Boom. Don't do that. Oh, come on, Ryan. Ryan. Enormous clothing emergency. Can you help? Ryan. Me? I don't need company. No, but my coat does. It's very valuable. I don't usually lay it out of my sight. Thank you. You're gonna make a big difference. Remember, get Rosa out of here by 5.40 at the latest to be on that bus on time. Yes. Well, I can't drive that. Oh, no, you won't. Yeah, we'll cancel the route. So much for that protest. This bus ain't going nowhere. Oh, my God. He must have deliberately smashed up that bus himself. <laughs> We've got to fix this. Oh, James God. Baker's got to drive Rosa's bus home tonight. Do not let any of the passengers walk. The bus has to be full. It has to be crowded enough so that Rosa is expected to move. All right, got it. This is your replacement bus service. Jim boy. You again? Oh, no, I literally get everywhere now. Come on, pop in and do your job. Yeah, but you know us, Brit. It's very imperious. Not proud of explaining ourselves to anyone, so no time to chat, just get driving. A lot of people need to get on this bus tonight. Oh, he is not going to be happy. Bus service is suspended. No, no, no. Let's go. What keeps you going? Promise it tomorrow. When today isn't working, tomorrow is what you have. Just starting. Not where I want to be. Hmm, where is it you want to be? In charge. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> but do you have a bus to get? I could always walk. Ha! Oh my god. Uh, I might have known pretty boy well blocking the road. Uh. Right then. Mate, move your car so the bus gets through. Come on, out of the way. Nah. You get out of my way. Just keep it up, will you? Cut your losses. Parks won't be asked to stand. She won't protest. And your kind won't get above themselves. My kind? Stay in your place. You're living in the past. In fact, you like the past that much. So why don't you stay there? Oh! Oh! It worked. Nice one, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Move the car, clear the route, find the bus, and Rosa Parks to change the boat. Good! Here we go! Holy shit! Oh, I love him! No, no, drive off! One more coming on! I borrowed this. I think I doubt the sentence as far back as it can go. He's gone. Use the door for colors. I was gonna say, are there like? Has it worked? Have we done enough? I don't know. Oh my god. Get off the next stop, right? Well, come on, then. Doctor. Don't get off, Graham. If we get off, there's enough empty seats for white passengers. We're part of the story. Part of history. No, no, no. I don't want to be part of this. We have to. I'm sorry. We have to. Not oh. Help. I'm gonna need those seats back there. Montgomery people refuse. 
refused to use the buses as a response to Rose's arrest. proud tears. <laughs> and in just over a year, on the 21st of December 1956, segregation on buses in Montgomery was ended. She loses her job, so does her husband. It's a struggle. They keep fighting. And in June 1999, Rosa receives the Congressional Medal from President Clinton. The highest award given to any civilian. It took so long though. Her whole life. Yes, it did. But she changed the world. I... She changed the universe. Look at this. Asteroid 284996. Also known as Rosa Parks. So, um, that was very good. I thoroughly enjoyed that. What a beautiful story. What a very, very beautiful story, I think. Um, okay. I have so many thoughts. Um, I guess, I guess at first I'll explain what why I was crying, I mean, I know that that's probably kind of a normal emotion, but I'm not sure how many people that maybe, like, cried. But I felt like it was, um, it was like they were happy and sad tears and proud tears all wrapped up into one. You know, it's sad that, that that's the situation in the first place. It's happy that she, you know, kind of... was so brave, I guess. Anyway. Beautiful. Um, there were a lot of moments uh, that I really loved. I liked when Yaz and Ryan were like hiding behind the dumpster and they were talking about race and, and is it, is it better? Is it not? Uh, you know, um, and, and, and what frustrations come with that. I really like liked um, that they talked about that and shared that whole experience. Um, I loved, um, yeah, just the whole scene. Uh, any any scene on on the bus, even you know before the final scene in this episode, I feel like really really captured something very. Um, God, somber and profound all in one. And so I think they did a very good job of, of capturing that. And um, Graham, I felt, I felt that in, in my core when he said, you know, I don't want to be a part of this because it's, he was the he was the white man who was standing. He was the white man who was standing. And you know, that that she had to get you know, you don't you don't want to be the person who has to make her refuse. But it but at the same time it's a very important moment in history. Um, and I love, I love the focus in this episode. I can't even tell you. I love the focus on this episode that little things do matter. I love that. And this is a great example of it. And uh, not that it was little, but you know what I'm saying? Like just refusing to give up your seat in, in the grand scheme of things isn't like you didn't win a, 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 a giant battle with the, you know, thousands of men in a war or whatever, but you, you know, you did something very significant, even though maybe some people would view it as something small. And there is just so much that we can really touch on 
with that, I mean, so many things, you never know when you're going to make a difference. And not just, I mean, she made a difference in, in so many people's lives. But, but you as a person, you don't know when you're going to make a very strong difference in someone's life. And that's, that's a really beautiful message to get across. Um, I liked, I, I liked a lot about this episode. I, I liked them showcasing um, I, okay, I, I'm of the opinion, um, and I rarely get, I mean, I don't think this is political or anything like that, but I, I am of the opinion that we should be reminded of things that are not so great about history, whether it's war, whether it's, you know, because I think to just erase all of that is is maybe not not the best. So I, I like I like a, the spotlight on how it just was the normal to be racist, and nobody really thought twice about it. the The white people didn't really think twice about it, and I like that that was depicted in that way. Um, because I think it's important that that's that that can happen because it did do you get what I'm saying with that I think that some people would like to not showcase maybe such negative things in 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 a country's history or you know any country but you know what I'm saying that's anyway um so I I liked that um very Absolutely um, wonderful. I like the actress who played Rosa, um, and uh, that was a very, very strong episode. One of my favorites of when they kind of go back and, and meet a, a significant person from the past. One of my favorites. That was a great, it was a great episode. I got emotional. There's just so much with that. That moment. God. It really got to me. I think, I, I don't know why. <laughs> it just, you ever, you know, like you ever think about something like that and you're like, I don't think I would ever be that brave. You know, that just makes me very emotional to think that somebody had the courage to do that. So. I'm crying again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Anyway, um, that was great. I love that episode. Bravo. <laughs> um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Let me know if you guys liked this episode and, and what you thought. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. I'm going to try to stop crying. Bye. <laughs>